country is so pretty, especially when it's raining. Last time I was here, if you remember, I was filming a McDonald's video because I couldn't get into the buffet I wanted to get into. There's tons of people here waiting for it. I don't think I'm getting in. And this velvet robe is the only thing that separates me from buffet greatness. This guy here, that's a representation of how I feel right now. But this time, booked the reservation way ahead of time. So right now, it's buffet time. I'm at the Ritz Carlton, called ahead like a month ago. So finally, me and potentially the buffet love of my life, it's finally gonna happen. We served just for me. This is probably one of the most elegant buffets I've ever seen. It looks kind of like, almost, almost like a study or a really fancy whiskey bar. This buffet is amazing. When I first walked in, I was like, okay, maybe it's not that big because I just saw like the, the seafood station, a little bit of oysters, some shrimp, and I saw some desserts. And I saw people like sliding out of the room and closing the door behind them, didn't want anyone to see. And when I walked in there, I could understand why because it was just like a treasure trove mm -hmm. of meats and cooking station, like chili crab, Indian stations, freshly baked bread, like a table full of bread right in the middle. It was basically meat and carb heaven. And I went straight for the jugular. I'm not starting with some salad or cold dishes, whatever. I just saw meat and I grabbed it. I got some satay, ribs, chili crab, fish, anything that looked delicious, I'm grabbing it. And this is from the carving station. Mm. This is basically a juicy rib steak. A nice proportion of meat and fat. Oh my God. This is just, when I see giant bones, on buffets, I can't help but just get it. And this is a Toulon, it's basically a big piece of mutton with a bone still on it. I mean, this is like a really nice place. So, feel kind of bad for I'm about to do. Oh man, this is one of the greatest pieces of mutton I've ever had. The meat is tender, especially the fatty part. Oh my God. Freshly made cheese naan. Oh, this is this is amazing in its own right. But this and this, mm. don't waste a drop of the sauce. Mm. That naan is cooked so so perfect. A little bit of cheese inside, outside it's just all fluffy dough. And right here, you got a little bit of marrow. You gotta suck that out. A little hard to do, but here, a little innovation. Oh. That's some holy good smoke shot tape. Thank you. This place of service is so good. They looked over and saw how much of a Neanderthal I was being. Brought over some lemon water so you can <laughs> wash your fingers. Ooh. A roasted pepper. This is perfect after a mouthful of mutton. This plate, I like to call my saucy plate. Chili crab, 
some chicken with sesame oil. Look at this piece of roasted rib, with, again, with sesame all over this thing. And I got some garlic naan and manto to soak up every single drop of this. Oh, this is so good. It tastes like a three cup chicken with loads of sesame fragrance. Ooh, that just broke apart real easy. Look at this little innovative scissors slash crab meat grabber thingy. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know what's better, the tender crab with the sauce itself. This is so weird. This like, looks like one of those ocean fish with a long nose, and it is ingenious. This rib is good. Slightly oversweet for me. I'm glad I got something to kind of to sweep all that up for me. And this is something I usually never will do at buffets. But spend some time with this freshly baked bread. And yes, it might take up some uh, valuable room in your stomach, but it's gonna leave you deeply satisfied. All right, I gotta go get some more naan and wipe the rest of this off because this is the type of cleaning I like to do. It's pretty much impossible to hit a buffet in Southeast Asia without getting some noodles. And I got some uh, some ramen, and they use fresh noodles to cook the ramen. I got more prime rib, because that's just amazing. And I got a, a mixed meat platter from the Chinese barbecue section. I'm like breaking all sorts of buffet rules right now by eating a bowl of noodles, but just look at it. I mean, they made it fresh. Everything's cooked right in front of you. There's like a million condiments you can add to it. I added some chili oil, some vinegar, some roasted garlic oil. Oh, smells so garlicky and nice. I'm not even exaggerating a little bit when I'm telling you this. This is a phenomenal bowl of ramen. This broth is thick, it's porky. If I got this broth in a normal ramen shop, wouldn't blink an eye. One thing I do suggest is the roasted garlic oil. Oh my God, this thing is so aromatic right now. Like no vampire is gonna come within 50 feet of me. Mm. The noodle is actually got a great chew, very al dente. This is, I can't believe this is from a buffet. This is a phenomenal bowl of ramen. This is from the Chinese barbecue section. So we got some soy sauce chicken, freshly carved roast duck, some roasted pig, and roast pork. If any of my taste buds were, were still jet lagged, that crunch just woke every one of it up. Mm. Oh my god. That cha sha. You can pick that smoke up with the chopsticks. They know what they're doing in their Chinese barbecue section. Because this skin from the duck, once you put it into your mouth, I think just melts it like a snow cone. Oh man, I just broke open a salted egg bun. This thing flowed like a legit salted egg bun should. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, I can't believe this is from a buffet. I'm pretty sure one of my dreams in life is to eat a thousand little salted egg buns. I might just do that tonight. I was like the perfect salted egg bun. The flowing lava of sweet salty egg yolk just as soon as you rip over the bun just erupts like a volcano. The bun is perfectly pillowy and soft and when you bite it and the, and the egg flows inside the little air pockets of the dough, that's when you know that life is still good.
Oh, this is delicious. Now, I don't know many things in life. I don't, but I know my dumplings. And this is a delicious dumpling. It's a steamed dumpling. And this thing, it's not all that juicy. It's just the meatiness and the flavor that kind of shook me. I don't even know what I'm really dipping it in. Oh man, that's a good dumpling. Okay. And this is so, so helpful. Look at that. Seriously, greatest invention. I'm gonna buy a pair and just take it to Vegas with me while I'm going next time. King crab, snow crab, both sweet as can be. All right, since the ramen was so tasty, I thought I'd get a bowl of laksa. That is a thick, rich bowl, laksa. And it looks like one of those uh, laksas that you gotta just eat with a spoon. No chopsticks needed. Mm. Oh, this is surprisingly. I should stop saying that because I shouldn't be surprised anymore after my first couple of plates. So creamy and thick and rich with that subtly sweet coconut flavor. That noodle station is not to be ignored. All right, after this, it's time for dessert, and oh my God, I can't wait to try this out. Oh, dessert here is off the hook. This is a little floaty island. I feel like it's slightly melted vanilla ice cream with a little bits of cake and fruits inside. Oh, magical. Tofu pudding with lychee jelly. The softest thing in the world with the chewiest, juiciest thing in the world. That fig tart is so good. That, with a little bit of ice cream. Oh, those tart is warm. Nice bits of crumble. Deliciously sweet figs. Shaved ice is okay. It's obviously a more refreshing dessert, but taste-wise, not nearly as good as the other stuff I had. And this is like, like a soupy dessert item called Burr Burr Cha Cha. So it's got like uh, sweet potatoes, Harold's, inside sweet coconut milk. Mm. This is amazing. I think if you want to make this even better, drop a scoop of ice cream inside this. Let's try that theory out. All right, sorry if I'm offending anybody or offending the food gods by doing this, but I just have a hunch. You know what? That's pretty darn good. I was thinking because it's sweet coconut milk and it's got really soft sweet potatoes and taro inside with a little ice cream. Could make this into like a cold, even creamier dessert. I think that's pretty darn good. Oh, I have an idea for a perfect dessert. I'm so excited about this. This could be a game changer. All right, what I love about buffets, besides being the land of zero food regret ever, is the fact that there's so many different elements, so many great tasty pieces that you can kind of morph them together to create something even more delicious. So I was thinking, what if gooey, warm, salted egg bun drizzled all over vanilla ice cream? It's gonna be a salted egg vanilla ice cream.
Whether you think this is gonna be a total disaster or am I just the greatest food genius ever? Comment down below. Please start doing this. If you are ever at a buffet where they have gooey, runny, salted egg bun and ice cream, put those two things together. OMG. I mean, think about it. Salted egg on many things are great. Salted egg chips, salted egg crab, sweet salted egg over vanilla ice cream. How could that ever go wrong? Besides the sweet creamy ice cream, now I got that added hint of salted egg. It might not sound good, guys. Trust me, it is amazing. Wow. Oh my God. These two food items together, it's like when Aladdin met Jasmine, it's about to take your taste buds on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Case closed. Salted egg yolk drizzled over vanilla ice cream, any type of ice cream. Throw the buns in there. Might be the next greatest dessert item. Just saying. All right, at the end, got my little fancy lemon water. Thank you. You know, the, the, the soup that uh, Rachel tried to try to drink in Crazy Rich Asian. This is it right here. All right, so let's talk about this buffet. It's about 80, 81, 82 Singapore dollars, so about 60 US dollars. Now, the seafood section is not huge, but it does have a lot of good quality items like king crab, freshly shucked oysters, different types of sashimi, sushi. I think where this buffet really shines is the quality and also personally, I think the dessert is flipping amazing. Every single thing I had on the buffet, from the nun to the ramen to the laksa, all tastes phenomenal. And I think that's what they're really trying to do here. Everything you eat, you're really gonna enjoy. And also the service is impeccable. So if you just want a really fine dining experience where you're gonna walk away and you have some really quality food and a great overall experience, this is where you go. And also that price for a dinner buffet in Singapore, that's pretty average. And like I mentioned before, I think the dessert items here, some of the best desserts I've ever had in a buffet. And plus, you know, the whole salted egg and vanilla ice cream thing. Yeah, you know, the Mike Chen egg bomb, as people like to call it. All right, just me, but still, it's a good name. For me, I had a great dining experience. I enjoyed the food, and I definitely do recommend this buffet if you're ever in Singapore. Just gotta remember not to do what I did, which is not book this way ahead of time, or else you might be like me and end up going to McDonald's. Okay, I, I, think, I think I need to go for a walk, a really long walk. Let's, let, let's go, it's really pretty outside. Pretty, right? That that right there, that's where all the crazy rich Asians stay. Right in that surfboard looking hotel. Anyway, all the great food, views like this, part of the reasons I absolutely love this place. And I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've ever been in this country where I'm not completely just steaming hot and close sticking to my body after being outside for five minutes. It's actually really, really nice. Not even I can't believe I'm saying this, it's not even humid. If it can be like this all the time, I live here. All right guys, I really do appreciate you watching this video. Please do me a favor, hit that little bell button so you get a notification when I upload a video. Thank you so much. If you want information for that buffet, of course, that's listed down below as well. Thank you again so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.